Hey YouTube, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. Today's video is on a prepper skill that not too many people talk about, but that is vital to us as preppers. That's land navigation. The ability to read maps, to orient a compass, orient your map and compass, to do something simple as plot a course, walk that course, drive that course, whatever. Usually it's walking if your map and compass work. <coughs> but, <clears throat> and I'm not talking, ma you know, road maps. I'm not talking about road maps. I'm talking about um, topographical maps. You need to know where the legend is, where this map scale is. You know how far the distances or the real distances are. Um, you need to have lots of maps. You need to have a good compass or two or three. You know, rule of two, one is none, two is one. <coughs> so, and of course I'm driving so I'm not going to sit here and teach you how to do map and compass. Plus there's a whole bunch of really good videos out there. I don't need to redo anything like that. People that are way better than me at that kind of stuff, they do that stuff for a living. Um, you know, watch orienteering videos map and compass videos, uh, maybe even like geocaching. That's one of the ways to make, like I always say, make prepping fun. While you're learning map and compass work, you can either take an orienteering course or go out and do it with your family. Or you can get into geocaching. You know, make it fun. <clears throat> A lot of these things can be fun. So, yeah, you need maps. You need maps of your local area. You need road maps and topographical maps. Not just topographical maps or not just road maps. Have a mix. Uh, but you need, you know, your area you're in, you, you regular, that you, uh, that you go around on a regular basis. Then you need area, you know, maps of areas around you. Uh, you need maps of your county, your surrounding counties, uh, other states if you're within a reasonable distance of another state that you think you might end up in that state um, in an SHF scenario or post-SHF scenario. <clears throat> um, and backup maps. So maps of your bug out locations, uh, your routes to and from your bug out locations. You should know how to read terrain features, elevation lines, so you know whether it is a hill or a mountain or a depression. You should know what a valley is, what a ridge is, um, draws, saddles, all these different things like this. Terrain features are important to know. <clears throat> if you're out, also, if you're out patrolling in a, you know, a semi-combative posture or a full-on combative posture in a, in a post-event, then you're going to need to know terrain features big time because you're going to need to know how to move clandestine, clandestinely, you know, secretly, on the down low, um, hidden from view, all those kind of things, however you want to word it. <clears throat> um, you're just going to need to know, yeah, orienteering, <clears throat> map and compass work, it's going to be important. Um, I don't know what else to really say about it. Please watch the really good videos out there. There's lots of really good videos. Get yourself a map and comp maps and compass, as, <laughs> as in plural compass, um, and practice. Like I said practice your family, your kids, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, you know, whoever, whoever your, whatever your situation is. Go out and make it fun. Hey, let's go do this as a weekend activity. You can go for a hike. That way you get, you get your physical fitness in, your activity. <clears throat> You're getting your map and compass work in. Of course now, do it, practice it in like a park or something like that first. <laughs> Don't go out in the middle of nowhere in the, in the mountains, in the wilderness, and practice this. So then you get lost and you end up like dead. That's not good. <laughs> so practice it on places where you know, where you're familiar with, you're not going to get lost. Uh, and where you have good cell service, <laughs> you know, even if something happens. <clears throat> But yeah, practice these things. Not many people talk about this. 
I really try to hit on topics that not, not, not many people talk about or doing videos on things that may be more prevalent in the prepper world as far as videos but I feel that I have a little more unique way of looking at it or um, come at it from a different angle. I really want to get you guys thinking. That's my big thing. I'm not here to just tell you all the answers. I really want you guys to think for yourselves. That's, that's empowerment. If you're empowered and you are able to do these things yourself, figure these things out, you'll just be much better off. I mean, that's what you want. You don't want to be spoon-fed anything. You want to learn. You want to go through the trials and tribulations and the tests and stuff like that of, of learning so that it sticks, for one thing. It'll stick in your memory much more effectively than if somebody just like, oh, here you go, and then you don't think about it, you don't practice it and stuff like that, and then time goes on, and next thing you know, it's just a faded memory and you don't even remember it. So, <clears throat> please, maps, compass, practice. Make it fun. Prep a little every day. You can do map and compass work every day, even if it's just looking at a map and, and practicing identifying different features and stuff like that. Like, you know, against a video. Like, you know, watch a, watch a video. Go get a map, go get a compass, and then try to identify the things they talked about on the video on the map. And then watch the video and bounce it back and forth, double checking your work and stuff like that. And then start doing the more advanced stuff, like orienting your, your map and compass orient, you know, and then uh, plotting courses, just all these different things like that. Just a little bit at a time, practice, you'll get better at it, you'll get better at it, and it'll be more and more fun, and then it, you'll just feel more and more confident in your ability just to do things. I mean, this isn't even like a proper world. These are just skills that ever, the people used to know how to do, you know? People used to, look at road, used to look at road maps. They didn't plug in the address on their phone and have GPS tell them how to get there, so they could just they'd go, oh, like zombies. Okay, people used to have road maps. They used to pull them out and pull over on the side of the road and look at the road map <laughs> and figure out where they're going. That's what used to happen. People used to do these things. They used to know how to orient a map and compass because they had to, because that's what they, you know, that's how they got where they were going. So, yeah, prep a little every day. Prep it a peace of mind, not out of fear. And like in this video, um, make it fun. Make prepping fun. So, please... If you like my video, subscribe, hit the like, hit the thumbs up button, and comment below. I love the comment section. I love interacting with you guys. This is a team, Team AP. We're rocking it, and uh, we're doing really well. And I love you guys so much. I'm truly blessed by you guys. Um, yeah. So blessings to you and yours.